Hey, hey, it's Krista here from Activate Her Awesome. And today I am here with a video tutorial showing you how you can easily share a PDF via a link. And I'm gonna talk about three different ways to do this. The first one is you're going to actually use your website to do this. Now, if you don't have a website, not a problem, because I'm also going to show you how to do this using two of the most popular cloud storing solutions. The first one being Dropbox, the second one being Google Drive. So let's dive in and show you how to do this on your website. The first thing that you're going to want to do is you're gonna to want to find the PDF that you want to upload on your computer. I have it here saved inside of my downloads folder. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to my client's website and I am going to log in and I'm gonna show you how you can create a link and share it via your website. What you're going to do is you're going to come in and create it as a new media file. So you wanna click plus new media once you're logged in. And then all you have to do is find that recipe, take it, drag it over and drop it, once it uploads, you can copy the URL to the clipboard. This is the link that you can share with people. And if they click it, it takes them right to your website to see the PDF. So that's step one. Now, let's say you don't want to do it via your website or you don't have a website. Okay, so the second way you can do it is to do it inside of Google Drive. You, If you are organized and you have everything set up in folders, then I would recommend putting it in a folder. If not, navigate to where it says files and then you're going to bring up that download again and you're just gonna take it and you're gonna drag it and drop it over here. Can you see how it went a little bit blue? That means I know it's gonna be added here. Now, once it uploads and adds, it's probably going to show up at the top of the file section, and it does. To get the link to share this, you're going to click these three dots and click Get Link. The only thing you're going to have to do is change this to anyone with the link, and then you can copy the link and say Done and you're done. That is the second way that you can create a link and share it. Now let's also do it using Dropbox. So you can sign into your dropbox.com account. And again, you can just upload it right into Dropbox by taking it once you're logged in, clicking it, bringing it over, see how it's kind of lit up blue, drop it, it's gonna upload it and you can just copy this link. It's gonna create the link for you, boom and all you have to do is copy it. And if you paste it in, then you can share this link and they are able to see it in Dropbox. All three ways work, super easy, lots of different options to do. That's it, that's all you have to do. Let me know if you have any questions and make sure you subscribe and follow for more tips. Cheers.